Croydon Roblox's Discord server doesn't have a suggestion channel, and this is why. A couple of months ago, on September 14th, 2023, a channel was created called Suggestion Feedback. So, we're going to go through some of my favourite suggestions and see which ones I think would work, but more importantly, the ones that will just never happen. So, the very first one in the channel reads, Make different London operators into bus packs, like Metroline. HHWE has commented on this, saying that Metroline doesn't run in Croydon, and if it did, it would be a pack. So I think he agrees with the suggestion here. Either way, I like the idea, and I could definitely see that being a good way of getting in some operators that don't usually run within Croydon. 7 out of 10 for this suggestion. Okay, the next one is really funny because this has actually happened recently. Someone has suggested that there could be separate servers for people driving realistically. HHWE obviously comments negatively and says, What prevents me from joining this and driving badly? Well, apparently paying for it. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, at the start of 2024, Centra released simulation servers for those with Croydon Plus, where you are meant to drive as realistically as possible. So, well done to whoever suggested this, I have to give it a 10 out of 10 because it actually got implemented. Next up, Custom Route Curtailments. I quite like this suggestion, but HH Wheat says that this would take too long to implement, as you have to change the whole system. Realistically, I think you wouldn't have to redo everything, but it could be do it could do with being redone. 6 out of 10 for this suggestion, as it would really be cool. The next suggestion looks more at benefits for VIP servers. These suggestions were made before VIP servers became free, so maybe this would have made more sense back then. However, if we pretend that this still cost points, then we can consider what they said. First up, server-wide announcements. They would be cool, and they should come as a standard really with every VIP server. Being able to restrict routes would also be quite cool, and would be helpful if coin shifts ever came about. Double points wouldn't work as well, I don't think, but might be cool. And the final thing suggested is custom destination blinds, and this would have made sense if the servers were still paid for. In all, HHWE agrees and says the private server stuff would be cool, but it would need to be more intuitive. At this point in time, the suggestion is a bit outdated, I have to give it a 6 out of 10. More railway scenery detail would definitely be useless, as nobody would actually see this, and therefore it would be a waste of the developer's time. 3 out of 10. Talking about 3 out of 10s, look at, let's look at some more suggestions that are worth a 3 out of 10. First up, the Enviro 400 should be slower than the Enviro 400 Hybrid. There is no point for this to be actually implemented, wouldn't change anybody's gameplay, and would also be a waste of developers' time. Croydon Fleet Numbers Whilst this would be cool, it wouldn't affect the game that much and would be quite unnecessary. The 689 was also a suggested route, but this, along with many other routes that aren't in the game, would be useless, as there is not enough of the route within the game for it to be justified. There's a lot of other suggestions on here that deserve a low rating, and it's basically anything that would be wasting the developer's time, and wouldn't actually add that much to the gameplay. Apparently next is a game-changing feature, fixing Bendy Bus's second half. Personally, I've driven the Fusion, which is a bendy bus, and it seems to work fine. 2 out of 10 for this suggestion. Another suggestion here is that adding is about adding extensions, and HHWE has issued a blanket feedback for any map suggestions here, and that is that all map extensions are exclusively planned and studied as to what routes would fit in. Obviously, we love to chat and speculate about map extensions, and I've had many suggestions on my channel that Croydon should extend to being South London, for example adding Bromley and Sutton. Despite the fact that this would be cool, I trust the developers to decide on their own as to what gets added and what doesn't. A 5 out of 10 to any of the map suggestions, even though I would be excited to see them come out. Next up, there's a suggestion for fun functional not-in service boards. To be honest, that this can actually annoy me sometimes and seems like an easy fix. HH we suggests that we just pay him money for a feature that should come for free. 9 to 10, 9 out of 10 for this suggestion, considering that it's not game changing. We're gonna look at HH Wheat's best suggestion yet, apparently, which is preset Croydon Plus blinds. I mean, I quite like the idea being simple and shouldn't take too long to implement. 8 out of 10. Anyone up for some more stupid suggestions? Well, me too. <laughs> Let's get into these before we move on to the more game-changing things. 
First up, the guy who can't change his graphics, who suggested opti optimization settings, 1 out of 10. Uh, someone here who just wants a refund, 0 out of 10. There's a suggestion here that says bus wait time, I don't really know what that means, 1 out of 10. Tour buses. First up, people seem to like realistic routes unless they're on companies. And secondly, who wants to sightsee around Croydon? 3 out of 10, only because it's better than the others. Cab door functions? Maybe okay, but not game changing and could possibly be laggy. 4 out of 10. Would it really be necessary to be able to delete your Croydon company? The devs are never going to give you your money back. 2 out of 10, but optimistic. Limited buses would be cool, but don't they already exist in packs? 5 out of 10. Okay, so there are 75 total results in this channel, which is just a video that will be way too long for anyone's attention span in the 21st century. So let's skip over the ones I have nothing to say about and get to my top 10 favourites. My 10th favourite suggestion in the channel is having AI people walking around. HH Wheat has said that this would make the game a lot more laggy because he's adding a lot of extra parts and I fully agree and understand. However, just think about how cool it would be if you could drive a taxi and then some person just sticks out their hand for you. Or maybe people are able to run up to your bus in real life. Obviously, the suggestion is hard to be implemented and a little bit impractical, but it would be cool, so 5 out of 10. If ninth place is a bit of a bug, maybe. Yes, if you drive a normal company bus, then you're not a great driver making the bus tip over. But with some custom company buses, for example the ALX 400, even the Eclipse, they flip over really easily. 5 out of 10 for this suggestion as well. In 8th place is some train ambient sound. I have mostly put this here because HH Wheat has said that it might actually happen at some point, and this wouldn't add much to my gameplay personally, but anything to make Croydon the best. 6 out of 10. In 7th place is making the GUI better. Let's be honest, the GUI at the moment is quite clunky and there are so many buttons. I don't really know how else you would organise that and keep everything, and I'm not even going to try. We also did get confirmation here that this would be event implemented eventually. 6 out of 10 suggestion, because it's not too bad. Maybe they could get some inspiration from Canterbury and District with their new minimap. 6th place is passengers sitting on a bench. I mean, does what it says on the tin. This would be cool. That's all. Not game changing. Just cool. 7 out of 10. My fifth favourite suggestion is extra tram announcements. HH Wheat says he doesn't really know what the extra ones are, but there are lots of them. Like, they're really annoying and they come on after every stop. Either way, he's not a coordinator, so he wouldn't know. 7 out of 10 suggestion, because the quality. Fourth best, and really should be first, but isn't, is tram improvements. There are just so many things that can be fixed here. First off, the tram announcements are just annoying, also the signals don't work properly, and most importantly, the passengers are poor. 8 out of 10 as we get into the high ranks here. In third place is a revamp of the Croydon Company route system. Now, I don't know how the best way to fix this would be, which is why the suggestion isn't in first. However, I get so many complaints saying that my company is broken because the navigation doesn't work, and it's not my fault. I have now actually resorted to creating guides on my website, which is in the description below of how to drive my routes. Anyways, just make it more clear, maybe use the map to pinpoint the next stop? I don't know, 8 out of 10 suggestion. My second favourite suggestion that I could find on the list is the AI traffic. If you don't know what I mean, there are cars driving up and down London Road and Reeves Corner, but they don't add anything to the game, and they also don't follow other road rules. Basically, they're on a system that have a set path, and that does include going around bus stops, but doesn't include waiting at junctions or traffic lights. If anything, these cars are just annoying, and I'd like to have it fixed. However, with the suggestion, HH Wheat may have announced the cars being removed from the game. 9 out of 10 for this suggestion, I think. And finally, my favourite suggestion that I found is career mode. HH Wheat doesn't think he would find a way to incorporate it, and maybe he already has with some daily challenges. However, I think this would be different and a great new game mode. And that is all from me. 
If you want to hear some more things that I'm a little bit annoyed about in Croydon, you can click on that video in the top left hand corner of your screen. But before you do that, maybe consider becoming a member of the Croydon crew. You'll get many perks such as exclusive previews and new videos out as well as seeing other videos before anyone else. It's only £1.99 so make sure to check it out by clicking the join button below. Anyways, if you can't do that, make sure to subscribe instead. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.